Have you ever wondered what the best sleep training method for your child is? Sleep training, for those who may not know, is a process that helps your little one learn how to fall asleep and stay asleep through the night. It's an essential part of your child's development, ensuring they get the rest they need for healthy growth. Today, we're going to explore two widely used sleep training methods, the cry it out method and co-sleeping. The cry it out method, also known as the Ferber method, advocates for teaching your child to self-soothe and fall asleep on their own. On the other hand, co-sleeping encourages a close bond between parent and child, fostering a sense of security through physical proximity. Both methods have their unique benefits and drawbacks, and neither is a one-size-fits-all solution. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into these two popular sleep training methods. Before we dive into our next sleep training method, we'd like to take a moment to remind you to subscribe to Aware Nari. If you're finding our content helpful and wish to stay updated with the latest parenting tips, tricks, and advice, hit that subscribe button and join our community. Parenting is a journey, and we're here to help you navigate through it with ease. Now let's delve into our next sleep training method, the co-sleeping method. First up, let's uncover the cry it out method. Originating from the early 20th century, the cry it out method, also known as ferberization, is a sleep training technique that encourages babies to self-soothe and fall asleep on their own. Essentially, it involves leaving your baby alone for specified, gradually increasing periods to allow them to become accustomed to self-soothing. One of the main benefits of this method is the development of self-soothing skills. It's believed that babies who can self-soothe have a higher chance of sleeping through the night, which can lead to longer sleep durations. This not only benefits the child but also allows parents to get a well-deserved rest. However, like all methods, it's not without its drawbacks. Critics of the cry it out method argue that it can cause undue stress for the baby, as crying is a baby's way of communicating distress or need. This method can also be emotionally taxing for parents as it's difficult to hear your baby cry without immediately comforting them. Remember, it's essential to consider your baby's temperament, age, and health before deciding on a sleep training method. Some babies may respond well to the cry it out method, while others may not. While the cry it out method has its merits, it's not the only sleep training method out there. So, let's move on to explore another popular technique, the co-sleeping method. The co-sleeping method, often known as bed sharing, is a practice where parents share their bed with their child. This method is deeply rooted in history and is still prevalent in many cultures around the world. Implementing this method is straightforward. It involves creating a safe and comfortable sleeping environment in the parent's bed where the child sleeps alongside the parent. It's important to ensure that the bed is secure and free from any potential hazards like loose blankets or pillows. One of the most significant advantages of the co-sleeping method is the bonding time it provides. Parents and children can develop a deeper emotional connection through the simple act of sharing a bed. It also makes nighttime feeding considerably easier, especially for breastfeeding mothers. Parents may find that they get better sleep as well as their child is within arm's reach and can be comforted easily. However, the co-sleeping method isn't without its drawbacks. One of the main concerns is safety. There's a risk of accidental suffocation or strangulation if the bed isn't set up correctly. Furthermore, transitioning the child to their own bed can be a challenge down the line as they may become too accustomed to sleeping with their parents. The co-sleeping method, like the cry it out method, has its own unique set of advantages and disadvantages. So which method is the best? The answer isn't so simple. As we've explored, both the cry it out and co-sleeping methods have their strengths and weaknesses. The cry it out method can teach self-soothing abilities, but it may be challenging for parents to endure their child's crying. On the other hand, co-sleeping fosters a strong bond and allows for immediate response to the child's needs, but it could lead to dependency issues and disrupt parents' sleep. The best method isn't about which one is universally superior. It's about what fits your child's temperament, your comfort levels, and your family's lifestyle. Perhaps your child thrives on independence, making cry it out a suitable choice. Or maybe your family values closeness above all, making co-sleeping the preferred method. Remember, every child is different and what works for one might not work for another. The key is to find what works best for your family. Good luck on your sleep training journey. Before we wrap up this discussion on sleep training, we'd like to remind you to hit the subscribe button and join our Aware Nari community. We are dedicated to providing you with insightful content on parenting, 
helping you navigate the complexities of raising children in today's world. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with other parents who might benefit from these sleep training methods. We appreciate your support. Stay tuned for more and thank you for watching.